Hello everyone, Aray here. Welcome back. A report coming out of Ghana. Ghanaian President Nana Akufo Addo recently said that there will be no future for Ghanaians in case the country continues to export its raw materials, especially cocoa beans. The president said that Ghana no longer wants to be dependent on production and export of raw materials, but rather they want to process more and more of its cocoa and produce chocolate rather than exporting the cocoa. He made this statement while at the Federation Assembly of the Swiss Confederation in Bern in Switzerland as part of a two-day visit while it was in this country. So bear in mind that Ghana is one of the world's largest producers of cocoa behind Ivory Coast and two-thirds of the cocoa produced in the entire world, the cocoa beans, come from Ghana and Ivory Coast, which are both countries within West Africa. And Switzerland as a country itself imports 57% of its cocoa beans from Ghana and we all know Switzerland for making chocolate. So according to the president, I'm just going to quote his words, because we believe there can be no future prosperity for the Ghanaian people in the short, medium or long term if we continue to maintain economic structures that are dependent on the production and export of raw materials. However, as I have stated on occasion, Ghana no longer wants to be dependent on the production and export of raw materials, including cocoa beans. We intend to process more and more of our cocoa in our country with the aim of producing more chocolate ourselves because we believe that there can be no future prosperity for the Ghanaian people in the short, medium or long term if we continue to maintain economic structures that are dependent on the production and export of raw materials. The president of Ghana has made a commitment to his country to add value to raw materials, to improve on agricultural productivity, to also industrialize the country as he believes that this is the best thing to be done for Ghana and also for Ghana to be able to compete globally on the global market and also be able to develop the country and provide jobs for the many Ghanaians. During his speech, as he served notice to the Swiss investors, he also talked about the business-friendly climate in Ghana at the moment and urged them to take advantage of Ghana's unique position as the host of the African Continental Free Trade Area Secretariat to set up joint venture enterprises within Ghana and thereby access the huge market that this opportunity presents. His government is aimed at attracting investments uh, within Ghana and also stimulating growth of the private sector. So I'm going to quote his words. He says, we have succeeded over the last three years ensuring that our macroeconomic indices are pointing in the right direction, cut our physical deficit, introduced a monetary policy that is stabilizing the currency and reducing significantly the cost of borrowing and have introduced a raft of tax cuts which are bringing relief to and encouraging businesses uh, within Ghana. Ghana has recorded an annual GDP average growth rate of 7% consistently since 2017, making it one of the world's fastest growing economies, all because of these changes that their president is trying to make in the economy. He went on to say that Ghana as a country is fully committed to a democratic present and future, where there is respect for individual liberties and human rights, the rule of law and the principle of democratic accountability is at the core of their body politic. I went on to say that they are determined to make sure that succeeding generations of Ghanaians don't become victims or pawns of the international economic order, but rather become her beneficiaries. So the president has a vision for Ghana, which is called Ghana Beyond Aid. He envisions his country being self-independent, especially economically, a confident as well, Ghana being in charge of its economic destiny, a being able to compete at the world market or world standards, of course through trade and investment, and also making sure that they use their raw materials as a country, you know, to produce our goods instead of exporting them, or create employment for the people which is pretty much what every African country or every African leader should be doing for his people. 
So I do believe that the Ghanaian president is setting a very, very good example. This is the kind of leadership that every country should be having, you know. Instead of exporting the raw materials, let the raw materials stay home and let people manufacture, you know. Because if you industrialize the country and let it produce goods, then it means there is employment for the people. You increase the exports, meaning you increase the income that is coming in in the country. So I think he is doing great, you know, for his country. I definitely applaud him. Uh, let us know what you think in the comment section and share your thoughts. Uh, check out my channel at Ray Kimbabazi, my Twitter and Instagram, so at Ray Kimbabazi, and see you on the next story.